What you guys got another video here for you. Windows 11 Pro will soon require a Microsoft account and internet connection during installation process. So when you're setting up and installing Windows 11 Pro, you will need to have a Microsoft account to continue the installation process according to Microsoft announcing that in Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22557, they have said these are the up and coming changes and upgrades and fixes on this particular build when they release it to the general public. This means that Windows 11 Pro is it going to be exactly the same as Windows 11 Home. And if you look here on their website, you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom. And it's a small little part on the bottom that tells you this is what's going to happen. Just above this area here, similar to Windows 11 Home Edition, Windows 11 Pro Edition now requires internet connectivity during the initial device setup, OOBE only. If you choose to set up your device personal use, MSA still will require uh, for a setup as well. So you can see here, they're enforcing the same as what they did for home users, that you will need to have an internet connection to install it. And also you will need to have, uh, you know, a Microsoft account. So this causes a lot of concern for a lot of people, and it's a little bit of a headache for PC repair techs that will now probably have to ask the customers for their uh, email and password to log into their account if they're logged in. So it's a little bit more of a headache, but you can still use a local account on the system on Windows uh, 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. You just have to jump through a bunch of hoops that Microsoft want you to do now just to get the installation of Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. Now, of course, this has caused major uproar on social media where people are threatened to use different operating systems and delay updating to Windows 11 and also uh, continuing to use the older versions of Windows 11 to refuse to do this uh, particular task. Now, it's not as dramatic as some people are making out, as you'll see here. All it means is that you're going to have to uh, use a bit of jiggery pokery to get by their requirements. Some people are using dummy Microsoft accounts to uh, get past this process. Other people are opening up the command prompt window and doing some other things to bypass the actual uh, requirement here. There is quite a few ways of going about it. And if you want to see a bunch of these, then let me know in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to make that video for you so you can bypass it with ease. But as you can see here, you're going through the process here of setting up Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. And what it's going to do is when it gets to giving you your signing details, you will be forced to have an internet connection and also be forced to have a Microsoft account to continue with the installation process. Now, a lot of people have gone back to Windows 10 and they will use Windows 10. Now, if they're doing things like this now, what is the future like for Windows 11? Because the way it looks to me is they want you to have a Microsoft account and be logged into that account all the time. So they can do more data collecting and other stuff like this. And also it means that you don't get so many features if you don't have a Microsoft account and you're on a local account. So that sort of restricts you a little bit as well. And how long is it going to be before they start enforcing the system requirements a little bit more aggressively by blocking people from getting updates with unsupported hardware? If they're slipping these sort of uh, changes in this early, it's not going to be long before they start enforcing Windows 11 system requirements more aggressively and blocking people from getting security updates uh, for that Windows 11 operating system on unsupported hardware. So where does it stop? So a lot of people are pretty upset with uh, Microsoft doing this. And of course, a lot of them have jumped on the feedback page and left loads of feedback about uh, their dislike to the changes uh, like this one. And this is one of the things I don't like about Microsoft when they start to enforce things on people instead of working with their users in a way that's a bit more acceptable. Enforcing something on someone and not giving them a choice is something that upsets people that makes them want to jump ship or makes them want to use older operating systems. And it can cause a lot of problems for Microsoft further down the line. But we'll have to wait and see what the outcome is. But there is ways to bypass it that makes it 
a bit more tedious to install Windows 11 Home or Windows 11 Pro. You're just going to have to jump for a few more hoops to get it to install the way you want it to be installed, which is probably a local user account. The reason why this has come about is because they've probably noticed a lot of people are using local accounts and they don't want you to use a local account. They want you to be connected to them using the Microsoft account so they can probably collect and harvest data from your system when you're using it. And just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, Microsoft obviously put out that massive bombshell with the system requirements, which obviously really upset a lot of people that have got older systems that can't use Windows 11 are now being forced to use uh, Windows 10 for a period of time. And then they've got to replace that computer because it's going to be obsolete uh, once it gets beyond uh, the uh, end of life for Windows 10. They can't use it anymore because they won't be able to use Windows 11 unless they use the bypass method, which by then Microsoft are going to plug that hole to stop you getting security updates, which then makes you more vulnerable. So it's forcing people to buy PCs and stuff like that. Now, like I said, you can bypass this. It is pretty straightforward to do. It's just a bit more of a headache to go through these sort of steps to be able to use uh, the operating system. And then you can still create uh, local accounts for uh, Windows 11 Home and Windows uh, 11 Pro. You're just going to have to go through a bypass method to install Windows 11 the way you want to install it. Now, we'll be releasing another video about this latest updated version because they have fixed a bunch of stuff like drag and drop and a bunch of other things like that, which I wanted to show you guys. So I'll be making that video for tomorrow. But again, let me know in the comments section below what you think about this sneaky little thing that they've done here to make you uh, have to sign into uh, your account to be able to install Windows. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. I hope you enjoy this sort of content. It's just a quick video, a little update video for what's going on in Windows 11. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy this type of content, then maybe consider checking out some of my other videos. There's over 2,500 videos about fixing computers and building computers and all that sort of good stuff. Also, while you're there, you might as well hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and then click all to be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you want to help support my channel, then you can always hit the join button, join my YouTube members group. It costs $4.99 a month. You can cancel at any time. You get a loyalty badge some extra emojis and also some extra perks on discord you also get your name added to the end credits of my video just like these awesome people here that have joined my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support have a lovely weekend my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk i shall see you again for another video real soon bye for now